Today's video is all about ultrasonic cleaners. What solutions to use, how to use one, and then showing you guys one. So here I got a nice carburetor. You can see it has some buildup. Um, this is one I did not take apart to even try to clean. I just replaced it. This is on an old Briggs lawnmower. Um, you'll see this a lot. Very, very common carburetor. This is the one with the choke, so no primer bulb. I'm gonna teach you guys how I use my ultrasonic cleaner when I need to use it. Stuff like this, I would take home and clean if I needed to clean it, but most of the time I just replace them because a lot of times this part right here will break. And if this part breaks, it's cheaper just to replace the carburetor than replace this. So let me go in over the ultrasonic cleaner. So these things are pretty cheap. They sell them now at Harbor Freight, big old ones with a drain pit. Mine doesn't have a drain pit, it's a smaller one. I'll have links in the description if you guys wanna check out some, all sorts of them. This is not paid, I bought this a long time ago. I've had this for about four years now. And all ultrasonic cleaners come with a basket. Most of the baskets are gonna look like this with the holes in them, which is not good for little parts that you have in your um, your carburetors, like um, the needles, the jets and stuff. So I got this steel mesh here. I don't even remember where I got this, but I just made it, put it on the basket. So now I can put all the parts on there and it has nothing to worry about. So a lot of people always debate, this is the biggest debate besides cleaning spark plugs, I guess. What kind of, Degreaser to use. Do you use a Zep orange? Right now, this is just filled with water. Do you use Simple Green? Do you use an actual ultrasonic solution? But my answer is, you know what I use? I just use Dawn Blue Dish Soap, which I have some in here. Um, this is what I do, just soapy water. This is pretty much what I use as my degreaser for everything. It's relatively a great degreaser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with the Dawn Blue dish soap. Dawn doesn't support me or anything. But what I like about that, and you can use Zep, you can use Simple Green, you can use the Ultra Blue, you can use any ultrasonic cleaner, but if you leave your carburetor in there for too long, I know the Zep doesn't do it as bad, but it will degrade the aluminum and darken it really dark. I might just make a video one day showing like what happens if you leave a carburetor and all these chemicals too long. That might be a good idea for a good video. Just buy three new carburetors and put them all in the solutions and see what happens. But um, I like this because if you accidentally leave it or you're doing something else and you cook it for two hours, three hours, it's not going to hurt the carburetor at all. So I like the Dawn Blue Dish Soap. So if you're brand new to ultrasonic cleaners, you can do that. And most of them are gonna have timers of 30 minutes max. I like to run it once, um, see what it looks like. If I have to keep it in there, I, I rotate it a little bit, put it in there for another 30 minutes, come back to it. Cause you don't wanna be in the same room cause this thing is really loud. Now Chris Fix, or Chris, uh, or not Chris Fix, Chris X Outdoors. I'll have a link to his channel down below. Um, he made a video making a box, a soundproof box on on how to make a soundproof box for ultrasonic cleaner. Really cool, I might do that one day. Cool video on how to do that, so I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check that out. But we're gonna take apart this carburetor and we're gonna look and see just how bad it is. I don't know how long I've had this carburetor sitting, if there was any gas still left in it. But like I said, I do like the dish soap. You can leave it in there. It's not gonna destroy your gaskets or anything. Let's look at this piece. You can see some black buildup along the rim there. We got some buildup on the bowl. Nothing inside the bowl. Looks a little dusty from the gas that was in it evaporating. We'll take out the needle, the jet, or the needle and the float. We're not gonna clean those. Generally, you can leave these gaskets on. I don't think it's gonna hurt you, but we'll take it off just to be safe. Looking inside the carburetor, we got a few sections of just dried ethanol deposits. Nothing that we couldn't clean up with uh, some carburetor cleaner. And for people know, this is the temperature. I like to have my ultra, because the ultrasonic cleaner does ultrasonic sounds with heat caught in the bubbles implode. They don't explode, they implode, which causes it to push air away. And I like to heat at 55 degrees Celsius 
the Celsius or centigrade, I don't always remember, but that's 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a pretty nice warm temperature. So without further ado, we'll drop this in here. Even this part. I like to put the bowls upside down. So let me show you what that looks like inside. So we get a clear view. Cause this should all darken up real good. And 30 minutes and we'll see you in 30 minutes. So here we are 37 minutes later. It always gets a little hotter than what you set it at. That's why I set it at 55. So you can see it's at 60 right now. So you can always set it lower or higher. Let's see how high this one even goes. See now it just turned on. As gracious as this thing gets hot, 80, 80 degrees centigrade. So that thing gets pretty hot. Without further ado, let's take a look. I'll show you guys inside of this thing. You can see it's a little darker. It's not as clear. Let's pull out our stuff and see what we're working with. It's going to be hot because it's at 60 degrees Celsius. That's over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Just the three parts we had. You can see a little bit of catch on there. But let's take a peek. Look at that. All that, what do you call it? That staining, all that staining has gone in there. That looks brand new. You can see where someone was trying to grab this and twist it, all that scratch marks. But all that staining has gone in there. That bowl is perfectly clean. I'd reuse that. Let's take a look at this jet here. Now you always want to take an air compressor and blow out all the holes make sure you get all that soapy water out i guess if you polished up this brass a little bit it looked brand new it didn't really remove some of that black from the washer but that's clean now the main component is the carburetor all of our deposits are gone we got a little pitting from where those posits sat other than that the carburetor is 100% here clean. You can tell this is an OEM carburetor. You got the little Briggs logo right there. So I can reuse this. You can see the stamp on there clearly now. And if anything, I could just put a new seat in there. But I think that seat's good. And this carburetor is reusable. So other than I just got to blow it out. But you could put this back together now and go back to work. Most of the time, I don't even bother cleaning these things. It's just easier to replace them. But yeah, I think that ultrasonic cleaner did a hell of a job. And I only really use it for the bad, like real bad carburetors. Most of the time I'll use it for like ATV carburetors that has a lot of components and a lot of internal parts. And I'll use it for, you know, like really that's been sitting and it's full of gummed up oil. I should get a few other. God, I cannot start that nut. There we go. Well, this nut does not want to start. I'm definitely going to use this. There we go. I'm definitely going to use the ultrasonic cleaner um, in a video coming up. I don't know when I'm going to be releasing that video or even when I'm going to start working on it. But I'll give you a little preview here. Now, oh, by the way, when you're done with your ultrasonic cleaners, you always want to turn them off. You can save the water for two or three uses, but turn it off and don't let it sit there with the heat on. You will burn them up. I burnt one up that way when I first started, but I got this scooter for free, this 2005 scooter here and everything on it is pretty good. The only problem is um, the carburetor is gummed up and I think that thing should run fine. So I'm going to be taking it out, put it in the old sonic cleaner. That's the best way to do that. But to be honest, like I said, if you want a carburetor to look brand new, like this one, I'm going to put this on the shelf of carburetors. Get yourself an old sonic cleaner. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll catch you on the next one.